blue homes like this are all over this island. These 12 by 12 homes have been put up by Samaritan's Purse. As you fly over the island, there's blue dotted everywhere. It's thrilling to see. A million people were made homeless by this earthquake. Uh, and by the end of this process, Samaritan's Purse hoped to have housed 10% of those folk. 100,000 people housed in homes like this, warm, dry, shelter, emerging from the rubble of what they had to endure. Just witnessed a really exciting whole village celebration. Clean water is coming. Samaritan's Purse has managed to provide clean water. You know about Haiti and the cholera epidemic. It's been great to see firsthand that now there's a village for washing, cleaning and drinking. They're gonna have water as fresh as the stuff you and I drink back home. It's been great to see it unfold and to see it opened today. I'm just about to leave the island of Haiti now. Uh, and from the rubble and the ruin of all I've seen, hope is emerging in this nation. It's over a year on, homes are being built. Hungry people are being fed. The cholera epidemic is being addressed. Thank God for all of that. So great things are occurring, but you do see signs everywhere that we've not yet emerged into something that looks like a, a nation at peace with itself. And so don't stop giving, don't stop praying. Don't stop loving this nation and thinking of it. Thinking of the people who work here, they're giving their lives in very difficult conditions to serve God on this island. But mostly, pray for those who live here, who will stay here, whose job is to take part in the reconstruction of this whole country, bringing to it not just food and medicine and care, but the loving claims of Jesus Christ, without whom a nation can't be appropriately transformed.